Audi, Legendary Void here, and today I have a deck pick for you all, and it's going to be based around uh, two of the new characters that came out in Wave 5, and uh, before we go ahead and get into it, I'm going to let you guys know um, I have been sick for the past week or so, um, so that's why I haven't uploaded anything, uh, so if you're worried about where I was, that's where I was, so but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So our first character is going to be Bludgeon. Now Bludgeon has a really cool ability in his bot mode that says when an enemy takes non-attack damage, it gets minus one defense until the end of the turn. And he's also a 6-13-1, meaning that if you can abuse this, uh, he's going to be able to deal some, uh, at least a good amount of damage on your opponent, um, even if this isn't uh, specifically an aggro deck. But um, otherwise, he, uh, he does some damage uh, by lowering your opponent's defense, so that's a pretty neat feature there. Um, but he also has something that we can abuse in his alt mode, which is the built-in Pierce 1 and Tough 1. So obviously the Tough 1 will help him stay alive, um, and he does have an awesome 3 defense there, so that helps. And then the uh, baseline Pierce 1 uh, makes it easy for us to build it upon uh, whenever he flips for attack. So that is our first character. Our second character is going to be Horrible. Now, Horrible says anytime you play a Black Pip card, you get to deal one damage to an enemy into this. And that works perfectly with Bludgeons, um, because since they're taking uh, direct damage from Horrible's ability, they're going to lose uh, one defense anytime Horrible's ability goes off. Uh, so, very good there, especially direct damage being so strong uh, right now in the format as it is. Um, plus, you get to move damage off of Horrible anytime you flip to his alt mode, so that's really, really cool there. Uh, for his head, we're going to be giving him Briscoe, which is a plus three health for three stars. Um, so that puts him at 12 health, making him a 4-12-1 in his body mode. Um, so we're going to, that's basically going to keep him alive for a little bit longer. And so far this does put us at 19 stars. So we do have six stars left, which we're going to play Raider Nightstick. Now Raider Nightstick is a 2-6-1 Battlemaster that whenever you, uh, whenever he gets KO'd, his weapon side uh, gives plus two uh, attack and plus one defense to whoever you put it on so already that's pretty strong there um, but whenever the upgraded character attacks and you flip at least two black pips which again this deck is pretty pierce heavy uh, you get to have your opponent choose a card from their hand and scrap it so there's a little bit of hand disruption uh, in this deck as well with the black beam blaster so starting off with the actions uh, since it is a blue deck, we are obviously going to be playing the three copies of Security Checkpoint. As always, it's mostly there just for the double blue, but you can play it to get rid of your opponent's upgrades if your hand is right. Um, we are also playing three copies of Kami and Crash. Uh, it says do one damage to one of your characters and do two damage to an enemy. Um, if you're playing this to do the one damage to Horrible, it effectively makes it a do two damage to one of your characters and do three to, uh, to an enemy, um, which is extremely strong, especially for... Uh, just one action that does indeed have a pip, so very strong there. Uh, we're playing two copies of Wedge Formation. Uh, since it is an orange and not a blue pip card, we're only playing two. Uh, but it does let you uh, basically negate Horrible's ability to himself, while also still being able to ping a damage to your opponent. Um, plus it is a green pip that you can bring to your hand. Um, and you get to draw off of potentially Bludgeon being in his ranged mode. And then you can actually plan if you would like as well with Raider Nightstick because he is a specialist. We're also playing three copies of War of Attrition. Uh, it is a blue green pip card that you can bring to your hand. And if you play all three at once, your opponent picks uh, their characters and do three damage to them however they want. And then you get to heal three damage from your characters however you want. Particularly, it's probably going to be on Horrible as uh, he's going to be dealing a lot of damage to himself. And you want to make sure he can keep popping off his ability for as long as you want, as long as you can. We're also playing two copies of Quartermaster for whenever Nightstick dies um, and your opponent's able to get rid of them off of your character. Uh, you can just bring them straight back with Quartermaster or you can move around uh, upgrades if you want to, say a Terrifying Resilience to help someone defend better or a Piercing Blaster or an Energon Axe if you need to do extra pierce somewhere. Uh, otherwise, it's a really good card to be running all around. And we are also playing three copies of Steady Shot, which is a black-blue action that gives plus two attack to one of your characters. Um, and of course we are going to be playing this overleap into battle because it does have the black pip and even if it only does give plus two attack the pierce is better uh, in that we can trigger horrible's ability more often for secret actions we're playing three copies of hidden fortification obviously it gives us tough three so it helps us defend a bit, uh, a bit better in a blue deck 
We're also playing three copies of Concealing Contrails. Now this is a black pip card, um, two black pips if you're playing a plane, but we are not playing a plane. Um, but it basically makes every black pip that you flip for defense uh, a blue pip basically is what it does. Um, so very good card, especially when we're playing as much uh, blue and black as we are. Um, and the last secret action is two copies of Sabotage Armaments. When one of your characters defends, scrap all the attacker's weapons. So very nice there. So starting off with weapons, we are playing three copies of Henhill Blaster, double blue pip card that gives you bold one. Uh, the bold one is kind of, it's a decent effect uh, considering that you want to get pierce on a character, um, obviously since it is black pip deck. Um, so it gives you bold one, but considering that you're going to be wanting to play these other weapons um, and even have nightstick on somebody, uh, there are better options. We're also playing three copies of Piercing Blaster. Uh, I needed some white pips for this deck, so a weapon that gives Pierce three just right off the bat is, it sounded pretty good to me, honestly, so that's why we're playing that. And we're also playing two copies of Energon X. Uh, this says you can only put it on damaged characters, so it does have some limited use, but considering that Horrible's gonna be doing damage to himself, uh, you can get that on pretty early if you really want to. Um, but it gives you Pierce two plus three, which is very strong. Uh, for an already pure stack, so uh, very good there. As for armors, since we're playing an all Decepticon team, we're playing three copies of Terrifying Resilience. It is a orange and black pip armor that gives you tough two and can't be put on Autobots, so of course that doesn't really matter too much. Um, but you do get the uh, extra pierce anytime you flip it, so that's very nice there. Um, and the other armor we're playing is one copy, two copies of Smoke Cloak. Uh, it just gives you tough one. Um, and the reason we're not playing three is because we're already playing three copies of Terrifying Resilience. Um, so we don't need three Smoke Cloak uh, just because it only gives tough one. As for utilities, we're playing two copies of Point Position. Uh, this is so we can give Brave to Nightstick in the early game if we can help it. Um, the upgraded character has Brave while they're tapped, which usually Nightstick's going to be your first choice of attack. So he's going to be tapped for most of it. Um, and then later in the game after Nightstick has died, you could put it on a Bludgeon or Horrible, depending on which one you feel like you need to protect. So of course, point position is good there, especially since it does have the Black Pip icon on it. And the last uh, utility we're playing is one copy of Pocket Processor. Uh, you can either get this on a Bludgeon or Horrible in the early game, depending on who you need to protect, of course. Um, so yeah, being able to draw extra cards at the start of your turn is especially strong. But yeah, that's the deck tech. If you like this video, don't forget to of course smash like and subscribe. And of course put in the comments below what other kind of characters you would like to see me uh, build a deck around. And uh, yeah, just let me know and I'll get around to it. And I always respond to comments um, if you have something to ask. So uh, don't forget to put all of that in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.